Hello everybody, it is Marty McConnell, the Off-Grid Gecko, back here for part two of installing my bee. Um, it's been about six hours, maybe a little more, since I put them over there. And they're getting acclimated quite well to the area, I think. The weather has been annoying. Not nearly as annoying as my weather app, which keeps changing their story every 30 minutes. And I know because I've been checking back every 30 minutes. So, oh, it's the end of the day. They're out foraging. Um, I've seen some pollen coming back. If I can get a shot, I'll show you guys that. Probably be hard to catch on camera. But I seeing some of the little girls coming back with their their legs filled up with pollen so they're finding it somewhere i haven't seen them feeding on any flowers in the immediate area but they're finding pollen if they're finding pollen then they're probably finding nectar too so they figured out their way around no doubt about it so i'm just gonna get this guy started up I did smoke them earlier when I opened them up just because I was a little worried about them coming out stinging. I'm actually kind of hoping that I don't have to use this thing at all. Um, so I'm just basically throwing some sticks in, throwing some little punk wood in. Getting a little flame going to get some heat down there in the bottom where it'll smolder and cook the rest of this crap. And then we'll put it out. Um, I've got some red sorrel here that was hanging in the shed. So, that's the driest thing that's in there. Just I'm using that kind of for smoking fuel. And this little punk wood that's left over from fireplace inside. I think you've done enough. Calm down there. So we got some coals in there. That should be more than enough heat to get this guy going. We'll find out in a second. If it pops flame again, then we'll know we're ready. But I'm just gonna stuff all this down in here and get this guy producing a lot of smoke. Now there's some cedar smoke in here, which the bees aren't gonna like. Nobody likes cedar smoke. There's enough there to start a fire. But that's what I have readily available in small stick form that will burn. So I'm going to try not to smoke them unless I really kind of have to. I may put one little puff under the lid when I open it. But so far they've been really, really docile and calm. And I go over there and look at them and they're basically ignoring me. They're not paying me any attention whatsoever. So... Pretty calm little bees, actually, I'm surprised. I've been pleasantly surprised all day. I've also been a nervous wreck all day because, you know, there's so much leading up to this and then today's the day and it's like, okay, please don't let me screw up. Um, but we got some smoke going. It's a little on the warm side. Um, we're going to go ahead and go over there and get after this and get the uh, the remainder of this done before the rest of the foragers come back. I guess I could use this little intermission to uh, show you my sleeves are now buckled. I went ahead and fastened the buttons on them so the bees can't get caught up in my sleeves of my shirt. I should probably tuck it into, but I'm not going to. Electric fence is off. Ugh. I want to do this sort of quickly and efficiently so I'm gonna try and do as little talking as possible while the event itself is underway get that guy going again So the idea here is pretty simple. Um, 
we want to put the new box entrance where their current entrance is. So forgers coming back that have already oriented to the area will know exactly where to find their hole. There's only one hive in this apiary, so it's not likely they're going to get lost, but whatever. I'm then going to remove the frames one at a time, check each one. I'm going to be looking for the queen, kind of, not really. Um, I'm also going to be looking for eggs and capped brood, see how much capped brood's in there, and some other little things, just to make sure everything looks like it's in order and sort of balanced. Um, I'm not an expert here, so I'm not going to pretend to be one on TV because I don't want to steer you guys wrong accidentally, but this is just the way that I'm doing it. So I don't want to spend a lot of time though. I don't want to do like a full hive inspection and get them all excited and agitated for nothing because of my own inexperience. So I want to get it done quickly, pronto and safely, get them all moved in there. If I can find the queen, that's a bonus because that's, you know, a rest on my heart that number one, she's still in there. And number two, that I don't accidentally squish her. So we're going to try and do this process pretty quick. And I'm going to try and talk through it while I'm doing it. But, you know, if you miss something, that's life. Because um, I really need to be focused on this. So I'm not going to be super focused on the camera. So I apologize for that. But at least you guys get to see and experience the excitement of this with me. As you can see, there's not a ton of bees. Okay, there's only about 10,000 in there. A lot of them are nurse bees. Um, they're just not a super, super active hive. Plus, the weather sucks. It's just a combination of things. They're just not super active right now, which could be a good thing for me. It could be to my detriment. But either way, I've got to get this done and over with so that they can sleep in the new hive for the night and I can rest easy for the rest of the, you know, year. <laughs> so, I've got my sugar water here in a Gatorade bottle conveniently. And I remixed it earlier because it didn't have quite enough sugar in it. I cleaned out my feeder bottle. So we'll do that as a second step. Um, and I've got everything set up over here. So I'm just going to get to it. First thing I'm going to do is scoot them over and I'm going to move the hive over so the entrance on the hive is where their current entrance is. I'm going to try and stand behind them while I'm doing most of this. There, come on, little guys. We're moving. Alrighty, and I've got a little wet mark there that I can use. Go ahead and slide this guy over here. And now everything's about in the same spot, and now I need a shim. So I need to find a stick. Okay, here's a stick. Stuff that underneath there, and then I'll hold everything solid and I'll remove the lid. I'm gonna remove this top box. Oh, there's a bee in there. I'm gonna remove my inner cover and I'm gonna sit it like this because that's how I want to place it with the that way if it's if this is up, then robber bees can come in and they can get to the sugar syrup, and I don't want that. So I want it down where they have to go through the hive up through this hole. It'll be like a second entrance for them for now. And then we'll swap it around later. I'm going to take a couple of these frames out so I've got a little extra room to work and they're already getting confused. They're like, wait, wait a minute. Wait, our door was right here and now it's over here. What the hell is going on? And we're going to see if these guys are testy. They don't look very testy. They don't sound particularly testy. And look, the, she's got pollen all over her legs. Hi, pollen lady. She's like, is this my hive? Are you my new brick? And, uh, I'm not going to blow any smoke in. I'm going to blow a little just across the entrance so the guard bees don't, can't like send out the alert. We'll open this up. Look how freaking calm these guys are. Oh my god, they're barely moving. Wow. Alright, little monsters. You know what I forgot? My freaking hive tool. So much for fast and efficient, huh? All right, I got my hive tool so we can get started. I don't know what this little girl's deal is. She's just sitting down there with pollen on her legs. Acting crazy. 
Look at them. They're just doing their bee things. I don't even care. It's like, yeah, we don't care. We don't really care. Um, I don't know how tight these are in here. That one seems pretty loose. Move or you're going to get smushed. So I'm going to pull these out one at a time. It looks like I've got two empty frames here, which is somewhat disappointing. And the goal here is to pull this out straight. So I'm trying to do that without bothering them. These boards are warped. And we're going to check. This looks like they're building comb. No queenies on there. And so that can go straight. They're just building a little comb. It's nothing to see here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. And then we'll slide it back. Look how calm these guys are. I cannot believe that. This is just amazing. Hi. These are like super duper calm bees. I almost had to break out the hive tool there for a second. Okay. I'm going to get a good grip on here, guys. Get out of my finger way. Away from my fingers. I'm going to pull these back a little bit and then up. So they don't get rolled. And this looks like regular foundation. That looks like there's a lot of honey in there. And uh, capped honey. That's a pretty heavy frame. Got over here more capped honey. I see a little bit of are those brood. Look like some brood in there. Broods. Okay. We got some broods. I don't see any eggs. But just a couple brood. And there's a curious little one buzzing around me here. Hey, get off that thing or you're going to get smushed. Thank you. And that is really a little bit of bark home on the top, but it doesn't look like anything that really needs scraping. And there's a little queen cell down there on the bottom. I'm not going to scrape it off. That may actually just be comb that they built a little bit sideways. What are you doing? Are you waggle dancing? Or are you just looking for stuff? What's going on here? Oof. Shoo shoo. This one's stuck pretty good. So, in here and just break that loose a little bit. All squishy with you. Yeah. They're starting to get a little bit more annoyed. Ugh, I didn't check that last frame for the queen, but she is probably going to be on one of these middle frames, and she's probably going to be where there's little baby broods. So we'll see if we see any babies on this one. Any babies? Yeah, hard to tell without any light. I see little babies. I see some little queen cells. I do not see a big behind. There's one with a bigger butt. That's not a queen. Oh yeah. I don't see her anywhere. No, not quite. Come out on the side. Anybody? Has anybody seen the queen? Demand to speak to her royal highness. Anybody? There's some pollen. There's stuff and fresh pollen in there. That's kind of cool. I do not. Oh, there she is. She's right there in the middle of the frame, working her way straight towards me. Hi. She's not marked. Um, so the queen's tail, her butt, is just a little bit bigger. It's longer and kind of pointier than the other ones. And she's just walking around 
doing her queen thing. Probably laying eggs. I don't want to spend too much time on this frame, but I want to see if I can see some little babies in here. Some little eggs. There's a lot of honey in here. A lot of it. And I can't see the eggs. That would work better in the sunshine. But she's definitely there. She's right there in the middle of the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and get her pointed that way. And I'm just going to be real careful not to smush her. And this thing must have been sitting sideways wherever they had it because it's all cattywampus. This looks like what's left of a, I don't know, queen cage maybe or some kind of little puck where the sugar plug was. I don't know what that is. Um, who else? Okay, so we got the queen in there. We're good. We're golden. She's happy. I did see lots of small young brood, so... Oh, they're making chains. Uh-oh. They're starting to get a little testy with me here, so I may get stung here in a second. Let me put this down. And go ahead and... My smoke went out. with our babies. We don't like it. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. I moved a little fast there. That was probably a mistake on my part. They are getting a little testy. So, they're not happy. They will be when they find out that I'm giving them food. Oh, little guys. That one almost got smushed. Okay, put that in there. Move this last frame and then we'll be done. That's it, we're all done. It's just a little more comb being built. So I've got two empty freaking frames. I'm not super happy about that. And they weren't spaced properly. So that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to do I wanna screw with that now or do I wanna screw with that later? I think I'll screw with that later. Right now the mission is not to smush old Queenie. So a little disappointed in uh, in the B place. But that may have been something from the truck or just where they were sitting. Off. But I'll go ahead and move these everything over here. Everything's spaced nice and even. Get off my finger. Oops, I shook them. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. This is not nearly as easy as it looks. You really do got to push them like one frame at a time. It's frustrating. Okay. Get these all away from that wall. Get these away from this wall. That little one's like, what are you doing? Ran up to kiss me on the finger. Ugh, come on. There we go. There we go. I just heard a buzz. I think one of them got smushed during the the raid of pushing things together. I think that's good. And it's starting to rain, so I need to hurry up and do the rest of this kind of quickly. So there's a few left in here. There's a dead one in there that never got cleaned out. I'm going to go ahead and just dump these guys in. So, oop. Damn, water went in, too. All right, let me get your box down here, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and put your cover on. Won't be long. Nobody's around the rim. Put that right there. You guys will be all good. Put your cover on. Okay. A little better. 
sorry I knocked all that water in there. I know that you guys probably aren't super happy about that, but you'll be happy in a minute. Now we're gonna put some water in here for them, some sugar water. I'm giving them about a pint, I guess. A little more than a pint. And we'll just see what they do with it. They're bringing in pollen, so I'm not super concerned about this part. There you go. And down off the rim. And put that on there like that. And they should be pretty safe. And it's starting to rain, so we finished that just in time. Um, yeah, so you see, you don't gotta be like super crazy with them. They, uh, they pretty well know what they're doing. I think most of that water missed, hopefully, or it got down in there in a corner where it'll drain out and they can dry it off. Ugh, I watched somebody make that same mistake on a YouTube video not 30 minutes ago and damned if I didn't just dump a bunch of water in their freaking hive. You guys need to go in the new hive. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so they know where home is. They're oriented to this spot. Might take them a second to figure out how to get in the door, but um, I think they'll figure it out. I'll come back and check on them in about an hour or two and make sure they're doing okay. But I think they've got it. They're starting to fly back in there. I think we're good. I found the queen. She looked like she's all good. So unless I smush her while I was putting everything back together, should be all right. And hopefully I didn't. I am going to have to get back in there and scrape those frames. So when I do a hive inspection, I've got to scrape a bunch of weird comb off the sides of the frames. And then I think I'm going to spread them out maybe in a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look up some stuff, some resources, see if I can find some solutions for that. And then we'll get to that when we get to that, as they say. But for right now, they're in the box. They seem like they're happy. They're not really pissed off. Um, so we'll come back in a little bit, make sure they're still in there, and then we'll get on with our business. See you next time.